Newt with FaZe on the CT side. Heroic on the T side, and we are not lacking speed. Through the door we go to pop it open. Carrigan with the one headshot. Brokey with another, and they just all get slaughtered. Trying to come through that squeak door. No entry. It looked like they had so much confidence. They had everything down, but all the kills go to phase wow Again, that first kill is just so important kerrigan's the player if he's swinging or K kadian's the player if he's swinging wide like that everyone kind of tracks onto that first player which gives some space over to the follow-up the fact that kerrigan hits this from all the way up in heaven so quickly as well just makes it so easy to just not them let them out of that choke point brokey and twist and kerrigan a huge stack towards that direction and a shutdown on the pistol round nicely done nicely done indeed Gonna be the second round. We'll see some tech nines. Three of them coming out. Scout on Kadian. But yeah, you're right. Those opening kills really do become. I don't know what the stats are, in, especially in pistol rounds, but I'm guessing the correlation between getting the opening kill and actually winning it is is huge in pistol rounds. Oh, what a spray down from Rops. Handling the angle. Plenty of time to reload. Twist has now arrived to make sure they can't close the gap on him. Good damage onto Yabby. Molotov to protect himself. Rops tries to get into a new angle and successfully does it, although some danger. And all that they have to do now is Twist and Rops just, just back off. Just don't die to this scout. Or push forward and kill him. So I guess it's the same result if we want to get real technical with it. Yeah. Still not dying, so. True. Good times. Yeah, a couple of rounds here where they don't lose a single player, so they're going to be feeling good about everything. Third round, though, is coming up, and we'll see if Heroic can start to do just a bit more damage. I mean, even getting a couple of kills, they've got zero all across the board. Getting a couple of kills just to make FaZe suffer. We saw in the last game against Big on the same map how much the economy mattered really for both teams. Especially for Heroic in that second half. That that felt really uncomfortable most of that half, and they really just kind of got control of their money right at the end, which is where they kind of blew it up and just ran away to win the map. There's the first kill on the board for Heroic. Kadian with a deeg onto Brokey. Stounds on the roof eating a nade. Struggles. Yeah, I was going to say. It doesn't really matter. They have the bomb. I think that was an attempt to try and jump the bomb down through the uh, vent and try and get a really quick bomb plant just to for, just for the, the hell of it, but didn't work out. Tessis and Kadian, two versus four. Speaking of eating grenades, though, it's kind of a shame that we don't have grenade skins. I mean, if we had one like a, that looked like an apple or something, I bet people would love it, you know? Or a holy hand grenade? Holy hand grenade would be Straight huge. out of Monty Python? Yeah. Or worms? Whichever uh, one you want. Classic either way, yeah. They should. Should put that in. Three to nothing. Let's we'll start waiting for the zoo skins. Yeah, you're right. There's some there's something that's missing there. Yeah. Well, we've got time. Yeah, I got plenty of time. CSGO tweeted today that the the, the the CSGO Twitter account tweeted today that, you know, CSGO's just getting started, which is an interesting phrasing. <laughs> Rops has dropped down. Brokey holding the angle with an AWP. Ramp room is taken over by Heroic. They've lost a player in the process and the eternal question of where do you go from here? Huge play right there. Getting the kill, backing off instantly. No commitment to the fight. Doesn't really need it. Wouldn't expect anything else out of Rob's, but um, you can see the struggle for Heroic now. They got time, but they need the bomb plant, and they needed it without losing anyone else at the moment. Otherwise, they're probably not going to get this round. Rob's is being a real nuisance back here. Hard to find and getting another kill, but Tessis, what a follow-up. Twist trying to get through the door and maybe punish him, but he was immediately ready for it, and it's a three-on-three three here. Rain just got caught. Yeah, he probably should have been dead earlier, but Carrigan is there on the return, and he just keeps going back and forth. And it'll favor phase at the end of it. One versus two for Stown with no bomb plant. And no HP. He's got 23 health. If you can find Brokey, maybe you find the equalizing battle who's up in heaven. But this is going to be a tough affair. 38 seconds on the clock as Stown starts to make his move towards underneath heaven. Brokey ready and waiting at the top of the ladder. Phase have just completely been like, yeah, we don't, we don't believe you're going to go for that lower bomb site. Oh, this is very awkward. Oh, no. Brokey. I don't, I don't want to see that from his point of view. He just couldn't see him. Fakes it once, hoping for Kerrigan to peek in. And as you can see, Stown thinking he's going to be coming up vents from the lower bomb site because he's already evacuated. You'll never expect this position at top ladder. Easy clutch for Kerrigan. Still, that's kind of a little bit horrifying. If you're, uh, if you're on the heroic side, maybe you'd, you'd probably love to win that round. But even if you don't, you get four kills and a bomb plant. That's still a lot of damage. Keeps you in the running. 
it sounds like, wait a minute. I can't believe Brokey was so committed to the, the outside play, the wraparound heaven play. Yeah, that's it's very interesting. A little bit of a shocking moment for him. But they win the round nonetheless. I think that's all they really care about right now. Technical pause. Contribution to the game, now that we're talking about the history. Twist is 7-1, to and the desk did talk about a little bit how that was something to maybe look for on this particular map. I feel like every map is a good uh, map to look for, for whatever Twist is doing, but he's having himself a great start. So it's Robs, and so is Carrigan at the moment. 4-0 and oh in favor of FaZe. They lost a lot of economy in the last one, and this is a good start. Stown's going to be taking down Rain outside, and it's early on. They can really put some uh, pressure behind this on these outside yards. Yeah, they were trying to really activate Rain to take a peek through that smoke with the flashbang, and the timing just wasn't there. Odd peek, and he couldn't get away. Nice opening kill from Heroic. Let's see if they can capitalize on it. Due to the fact that some of the early rounds, the first three rounds were so dominant, one kill for Heroic in the first three rounds, there's still a good amount of money on FaZe very early on. Look at how far back Rops is. Given the fact that there's three people on the rest of the map for his, for, from his side, this is really a, a, a deep position to have in CT spawn. You might not be able to help out your teammates that much, and he almost got the kill for it there, but... Instead, Tessus will find Twist, and now they know. They know that there's someone in CT spawn, so they know the two people that they have to find on the rest of the map. As long as they keep Rops back there, it's going to be interesting. Harrigan, though, trigger discipline. He knows where two of them are, but he really wanted more than just the kill. And the greed is maybe ultimately what ends up being his undoing. Tessus will take down Brokey and Rops. Yeah, well, they know exactly where he's coming from. Yep, they sure do. And they're not going to let him get escape. They want to take all the weapons out of their hands. Good shot from the Abbey. 9 HP. Nails it. A lot of very narrow timings there that helped Heroic actually win that round. The, the flashbang peak from Rain, first of all, was nothing too crazy. Twist was really hovering between the two choke points. This one right here gets the dink but can't find the completing kill. Kerrigan's flank, Kerrigan's trigger discipline betrays him at the end of the day as well. So Faye's in position to be able to turn that round and just a few things go against him. Fucking nice. And a nice win for Heroic to get two on the board. But like we said, still money in the bank of, uh, of FaZe. So a third attempt at staving off complete economic collapse. <laughs> it was cool seeing Mahone break that down as well because we obviously didn't catch it on the live screen in that round that we saw it in the, in the previous one. But we did see them try go for that run boost earlier in that half that had, that had kind of fallen flat as well. Yeah. And this one is not even close. No, and this one they just missed it entirely. It's when your parents say we have run boost at home and... That's the run boost at home. Yeah, it's the... Stupid meme moment, I'm sorry. That is a very fatherly meme moment. <laughs> Rain trying to take some shots through, but didn't really work out. This one is close, though. Ooh, wow. They are lucky to not have taken any damage from that. But they've all snuck past the entire heroic lineup, sneaking their way down. Twist is there to spot them out, but just with the FAMAS... Not the most favorable weapon to try and take the fight with. They also have no more nades at all on the phase side. So they almost have to win this battle before it's a bomb plant or it's going to get awkward. Oh, this boost. Almost catches Twist. He's going to get around the corner. He's going to be able to challenge here. Oh, that's immediate headshot. Inside of the smoke as well. It's Rops who finds that kill dropping down. And that was very narrow. Heroic almost had the jump on the defense. But Twist and Rops have delivered them back into the round. <laughs> with mechanics almost alone. That is so well played. And Shush and Jabby are both going to get caught as well. FaZe, what a strike back. They had almost nothing going for them in that round. That's, that's actually in a, almost in every way a horrible position to be in. Yeah, Twist was putting a lot of pressure, but him and Rops, uh, the teamwork here, I mean, this first kill is so fast, so important. And then Rops is also coming in. Attention from Tess is taken towards the bomb site and able to get a nice clean win. And got a Tess up there. Yeah, maybe with a couple of kills, but Heroic definitely lacking an output here. We're about six rounds deep. Here we go. There's the run boost we're talking about. They're trying to do it. It's down up there close. This is how they caught Searson, I believe, against Big, but they're not going to find anyone outside just yet. And Bullet's narrowly missing Stown. He could have been almost killed by that. Down below he goes. They got the timings down on this run, on this route. Rops is going to... Oh, he's been spotted, and Rops is going to win that. That's brutal. What a quick, decisive kill. However, Yabby says, you're the ramp player, so I'm going to take some liberties and push forward. The door is blown open again. Rops in some trouble, and this time he can't handle it. But the rest of Heroic now have to find a way to meet up with him in the lower bomb site. 
What a great read from Yabi, though. Absolutely right. He saw that coming, and now this relocated. Carrigan is not even aware of it. He That happened so fast, and that probably should have been a kill right there. Carrigan, lucky to be alive. 55 seconds. Bomb being planted on the other side. You can wall bang that, but they can't find the angle, and Kerrigan's going to get traded. Katie in there to pick it up now. Three versus three. And a freshly planted bomb. It's not actually done yet. They gotta be real careful here. Nice flick from Katie and taking down Rain. And now Brokian Twist, two versus three. It's a save. It is a save. save. Back they have to call it off immediately. Oh, I thought they were gonna go for it. What a win for Heroic. Yeah, that's huge. I mean, good defense mounted as well by FaZe. And I think it's partially that smoke on the staircase, partially Brokey not wanting to risk the AWP that forces them back a little bit earlier than they would have liked. Remember, Twist, he got out as well. Looks like Heroic is trying to hunt down one of those weapons. We're going to be just fine. So it's 5-2. to two, Three round lead for FaZe. I think it's really worth pointing out. I mean, the sometimes when we're just watching the game, we kind of forget that not only getting the kills, but who you get the kill on or who you get killed by can have such an impact, right? And yes. And pointed out, Rops being maybe slightly out of position was enough for Jabby to create the opening. It's, it's awesome. Yeah, I'm almost uh, I'm almost surprised in a way there wasn't uh, some kind of like a layer to that to have ramp room somehow covered or some kind of information there so Rops wasn't kind of rotating back to the bomb site in such a blind fashion. But in another world, that play doesn't happen. That's you know you can't you can't you really make perfection to every single thing that can possibly happen on the map. Rain's pushed up. He's they been know. spotted. They definitely know. I don't think he realizes that they know. Oh, still getting away with a kill. That's. <laughs> That's very unlikely. MP9 flashed at the same time. No element of surprise at all. Frustrating surely was down because they must have felt like that's a, that's a free kill. Kerrigan saw the shadow on the wall from Tess's, so I know he's calling that over to Twist. Watch for someone to jump around. Two players in secret. Tess is on the roof outside. Abby again lurking in towards lobby. Brokey misses a shot narrowly. But at least his presence has forced them away. Yeah. Forced them back outside, forced them back towards Twist, back towards Kerrigan's SMG, commits to the fight. He's brought Shush down very low, and Rops has an aggressive lurk. FaZe shutting down Heroic across the map. That's a fight you could all you exist, expect Twist to win, but somehow not. Shush, though, very low. Gonna go for the bomb plant here, down below. Had some needs. He could create maybe a little bit more space, but low on health already. They're right on top of him, and they know exactly where he is at the moment. So, nice call, if Just fall back. Make sure you get the teammate to show up from behind. He's sandwiched in. Absolutely no escape. He should definitely be dead here. AK is a pretty good weapon, but at this range, the MP9 is going to be just as effective with the health that's left. And Rob will take him down. Good recovery. Another good round out of phase. I mean... They, they really managed to win a bunch of duels there. And the fact that Robs, I mean, we talked about him being down below this time, pushing into lobby, which is something that Heroic did against Big earlier. One little small uh, detail in that, too, is I think FaZe wanted to make that 2v1 super quick. Brokey dropped the AWP because the call was that he was low on health, so he could pick up an SMG. I don't know if he had time to run all the way back because that bomb timer got relatively deep. They might not have given him the extra five seconds to head up the vents. You could see they wanted to press the issue to try and be able to go back and recover it. So Op is still in his hands, but he's got zero dollars. Yeah, that's a good point. Might might have been a little bit expensive at the end. Six to two. It's a solid start right now. Phase. What happened to Kerrigan's HP? Do they do they nade sack through the window? He's down to twenty two health. He caught something that he didn't like. I think probably yeah. Must have almost been a double. See, we've seen that before, but that's still very effective. Nice throwing. Going to be tossing the rifle back up to heaven and leaving him with the AWP down below. Playing handball with sniper rifles. Very Danish. Seems risky. Believe that's uh, one of the rules of uh, any any gun range. Don't try and catch the guns if you, if you drop them. <laughs> yeah, actually, it is. Yeah, you're right. It's not a good idea. Rops just tucked in behind the box, the single box at back of ramp room. Nobody to cause a distraction, nobody bait. Here's the footsteps, and he's eliminated immediately from Shush. Brokey might have been caught off guard. Thank God he traded out for the M4 because he needed it. Finds Tess's in the equalizing kill, and FaZe once again scrambling to get down to the lower bomb site. Twist, he's made a lot of noise. 
Let's see how active is being with the calling at the same time. He needs to win this fight, and he will take him down. Stout, but Jabby's there for the quick return. Rain coming in as well, but another headshot here for the Danish player, and it's going to be broken. Carrigan, both low on health, and in a two versus three, but don't think it's worth it, especially with the money that's left on the phase side. They have to be careful. Carrigan going to get shot at the back, and can't even save the AWP. This is a really huge, pivotal round here. Yeah, great round from Heroic, finding the solution. Good kills as well. Reigns lost a couple of those fights down towards control side at those stairs. Can be an awkward fight. He's come out on the losing end a number of times already in this game. So six to three. I feel like against Big, Shush didn't, he wasn't necessarily top of the scoreboard, but he had some of those rounds with the AK that were just so accurate. You know, one or two bullets to get a headshot really, really fast. And he did the same thing okay. here in the ram. Yeah, nade stacked right at the start from Kerrigan. Nice little damage that... Makes him a bit nervous moving forward. There's the dink from Tess's that also made this phase team kind of save their weapons and not try and go for it into two on three. So now the question becomes money for phase. Twist has 3,200. That's the most on the team. So I have to imagine this is going to be some sort of a weaker buy for phase. Idiot. Yeah, it surely has to be. Heroic kind of back in the game again. With some of these rounds staying competitive, which is what happened against Big. I mean, at the end of it, what was a 9-6 in favor of Big at the first half? Those six rounds were uh, were somehow just enough for a Heroic to, to build in the second half. Speaking of six rounds, the, the last six have been just traded back and forth between these teams. No one's stringing around together. So going blow for blow at the moment, and that's relegated phase to the bye. You can see Famas on Twist, SMG on Kerrigan, and Deagles otherwise with that one saved M4. And already pressure in ramp room at a minute and a half into the round. Heroic showing presence and showing control. Eagle shots being thrown out. But Rain not able to connect outside. Would have been a huge kill if he could have got it, because that probably means he could steal the AK eventually. The rest of the Heroic team is really far away. But Heroic, no. They're calling it in already, saying that's a... A lot of pistols in play right now, so let's try and group up and don't throw this one away. They're looking for any aggression. They're looking for any kind of push, any kind of mistake from the face out of things, because there's been a couple aggressive moves from the defense throughout this half so far. But in a five on five and without the rifles, FaZe is just hunkering down, turtling into the bomb site. Twists and Rops again to defend. Just one rifle and a deagle. Shouldn't be enough stopping power, and especially with the nades that are going to be blocking off these windows. You have to assume that Rops on his own with the Deagle on the other side just won't be enough to deal with it. And Didi's going to get run down. Shush with the kill. 30 seconds on the clock, and the bomb is being planted on the other side. Brokey, he'll pick up one of them, and it's almost worth it if Rain could get there to pick up the AK just to keep the fight on, because... They really need the, the money back right now on the phase side. Yeah, they're not going to get it. This is a save call 100% of the time. Rops and Twist couldn't get anything done. Can they get the AK, though? Yeah, that's what Rain's coming over, because this kill happened over in Ramp Room, so Rain's going to come pick up the rifle. So at least there's some things. They can pass the Deagle over, likely to Twist. Sneaking in. Yeah, it doesn't look like Hero are going to be trying to exit this way anyway, so... That's a small victory for the for the phase side, but the fact still is Heroic are back up to 6-4, which is not bad at all. Oh, Tess is going up to the bomb. That's so it's all good. In victory. Welcome to Valhalla. <laughs> Gave it all. Two round lead. Good on Heroic. Just slowly chipping back into this. Kadian still with a smile on his face, fist bumps all around. Still not seeing the same yelling that we saw earlier. Not quite yet. It's been early in the game for that. Maybe Although, I say that, but he was yelling at like round three, yeah. round four in the, in the previous game. <laughs> Celebrate when you can, you know? Ooh, brain. That's a good spam. Kerrigan. Sorry, Kerrigan. Kadian. Unable to really return that one. They have control of lobby now. Look at Kerrigan. Bold because of the fact that he only has the USP. will be able to go pick up an AWP. All of a sudden, FaZe has a couple tools to use. Almost caught on the retreat. Kerrigan's going to hold the line. Oh, Stown better be careful. I think somebody called him back. Wait, wait, wait. Up by Squeaky. I'm going to try and see if they can counter boost this one. Not throwing the AWP up there. Oh, this is very awkward. Yeah. Not quite sure what happened there. 
Yeah, but you're going to be finding a good time. He <laughs> jumps up the ladder and oh my god, Rain. Not quite ready to take that fight. That is... That's a rare fight. That is an awkward engagement. <laughs> Especially because it took a while for them to find each other. Kerrigan still has to be nervous about a wrap around heaven. So FaZe is in position, they're kind of, they're, they've shrunk the map and they can have a pretty speedy number of flanks on that 8 bomb site, but they need to have some kind of resistance in the site itself, and Kerrigan, just there's no way he's ever going to feel comfortable. Definitely not, and especially with the health that he has, just six points of health left, so he's going to be found by Shush. It's unfortunate because actually they had set themselves up in kind of an interesting position here, FaZe, but now the bomb is going to be planted and saving the weapons again probably becomes the main priority here on the phase side. AK and M4 so far in hand. It looks like they're going to be able to escape at least for the minute with them. But that's five for Heroic. They yep. are, they're battling back. Good shot from Rops. Maintain possession of the AK-47. Yeah, they've, they've fought back in a big way. This is phenomenal. Right back into the game oh so quickly. And that's the difference between finding the reset on the CT side and not finding it as we saw big in the previous one. Never had any really periods in their T side where they could gain control over Heroic. But here, when you get control of the economy and the money, you can rattle off a few straight. Nuke gets a lot easier. So one round lead. It's cut in two. Go. Why does he swear in English and speak Danish? I've, I feel like a lot of a lot of Danish culture in general has been infected by you know American and British TV. A lot, of, you know. Perfect. So that's the way we designed it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Meant to be. Sorry about smoking the warehouse. Well, either way, I agree. They are playing some really uh, some really solid Counter Strike at the moment. Six to five. They could take down the phase early on here, even if it's the best of one. That should give them a lot more confidence on the heroic side. That's a nice way to get the season started. It's down back here, ready in case there was going to be some aggression. We've seen that at least the one time out of rain with the MP9, so it's not completely uncalled for that they are at least watching it. And they saw it plenty of times against Big as well, remember? Yeah, true indeed. So that smoke warehouse, that little plan that Kadian and Stown came up with during the timeout didn't come to anything, didn't yield them any results. Off and smoke. Try to create a little bit of space here for Stown to work with. He's going to turn right in through the smoke in towards Mini that, or he's just going to lurk outside. Here we go. Execute coming in. Stown wants to be the point of attack. Everyone's going to be focused on door and on hut. It's Mini where Stown is peeking in to get information. He's saying, guys, it's mostly clear. You got to watch vents. You got to watch silos. That's about the only two places they can be, but it's too long. Heroic, the other side of the attack, never pulled the trigger because Stown didn't see a fight that he wanted. That's crazy. What a position for Stown to be in. If you give me that position, I feel like every single time Heroic are going to probably win the round. But you're right, he just he didn't spot anybody. And instead, they get absolutely wiped out. That's that's so unusual. Yeah, it really is. And But, I mean, it's even more unusual, I felt like, that the that the hit from the hut never actually came in. Yeah. You know? Yeah, because you're right. He he can he can eliminate 80% 80, 80 of the positions in the bomb side, he could say, you don't even have to look there, don't don't look there, it's fine. And, uh, the bigger thing is, as you can see, there's only so long he can stay in that position before that smoke fades, and then he's just compromised, and then he yeah. can't really help anywhere, and then he's got to make an awkward decision, so he kind of feels like he got left out on an island there by the delay from Heroic. Two-round lead. Critical win there for FaZe, though, in terms of recovering their first half and coming out strong into the second half. They needed this one. Their economy has been in a bad place for a long time. What's funny is when they win rounds, it feels like FaZe win with like four players alive, five players yeah. alive. They had a great run where nobody died at, at to start the half. They gave them some early economy to sustain some of those losses. Rogue did have to battle pretty hard to grind that away, but back to another victory for FaZe where four people were alive after all is said and done. Bring a little bit early on that spray. Not going to be able to connect with anyone. Kerrigan's down below to catch. Possibly down if he's going to keep going. Could be an interesting fight there. Yeah, we flash, but not panicking with a response either. So it doesn't really reveal himself in that position. 50 seconds on the clock, and they seem like they're setting up in the position that they want to be in eventually. Back into the lobby we go. Bomb is on Tess is quite a bit back. And down to 40 seconds. They're cutting it low already. This is making me very nervous. Yeah, it is. And you got to deal with Rops on top of the boxes. He's good for two at least in this position. Shush and Yabby to lead the way. 
There's the first. Oh, but he turns. A follow-up flashbang coming in. Rops couldn't hold the angle. No smokes for any of these windows, so Kerrigan's got a chance. Cuts down Yabby on the entrance, and now Tessis has to shuffle in. 18 seconds, and he takes a really shallow dive down the ramp. Puts Kerrigan in an awkward spot, but he still manages it well. One from behind, eventually taken down, but time is the enemy, and Brokey's making a play. Stown in a 1v2, and he can't win if Twist just hides. Yep, four seconds. <laughs> He's gonna get caught right there. Either way, don't think you're gonna put the bomb down, so close round, but um, just, you could almost see that coming. I mean, at 40 seconds, if the bomb is basically in T-spawn and you have to navigate that whole way, it doesn't take a lot. Even this kind of a small slowdown, you know, three seconds lost here or there, and maybe 10 seconds lost just to this fight against Kerrigan altogether, it's too much. The 15th round with almost nothing to uh, to work with at all on the T side, so gotta be a bit careful. That's almost a kill on terrain, but that's probably on top of each other. That's probably the worst outcome that could have happened for Heroic is not only you lose a player with barely doing any damage to Rain, but you've also have Kadian who's just limping with 12 HP. Rops, that's a very deep pre-aim, and the barrel gives away the game. So equalizing kill found. Rain sees one on top of the roof. But Kerrigan's here to shut down ramp room. And they lose down in the meantime. A minute and 10 seconds. Tessis to pick up the one kill, but Rain and now Brokey to add to it. Leaves Tessis on his own, and a bomb line right now would be so important for Heroic. They really need the money. They're in trouble. Not even going to get close to possible as Brokey will take a second kill of the round. And FaZe might come up with a pretty good half here either way. They yeah. look like they're in a great position, even if they've been struggling a little bit. Oh, it's outside of that one stretch. Yeah. Outside of that one little stretch for Heroic, they were able to rattle off these four or five rounds in a row off the back of a, a strong economic advantage. This has been all phase, nine to five. And as you mentioned, this final round from, from Heroic is going to be pistols and armor. Tech nines, deagles, plenty of utility to work with. Well, let's see. Surely going to be one of those contact type rounds where you, you're just, you're hoping to knock out some early defender and just keep going from there and never really slow it down. Can't rush straight away because there are a lot of grenades that are going to be landing in all of those choke points, so you kind of have to wait it out a minute, but um, eventually you have to assume that they're going to go for it. Just waiting for the right cue. Twist. Jiggling back and forth there with a grenade in hand. Trying to limit his exposure and make sure that if they do come for him, he could uh, toss out the nade and, and just try and live for as long as possible. Yeah, Molotov in hand, so might get tricky. There it is. Maybe a little bit early. Goes a bit deep, too. They're going to run yeah. right through it. Shush with a headshot. Rain back here fighting for his life and does a great job, actually. Huge double, but eventually they're still going to win the fight for the bomb side. Robson, Kerrigan, two versus three, and Kerrigan going to be found all on Robson. He goes down. Oh, wow. It's big. They are down three rounds or going into the second half. They need a strong start here on the CT side. Yes, they do. Let's see if they're going to get it. FaZe taking a slow pistol on. Heroic pressed the issue, had a squeaky door rush in the first half that got shut down. FaZe taking a much more measured approach. Two Molotovs, a smoke, and two flashbangs as well. And and here it models. comes. Yeah, that could be real interesting in a pistol round. Ooh, opening from Brokey, taking down Stown, and he's going to keep going. It's a double, and now they're hunting for Shush. He has no shot at it. They came from every angle there. Tessis and Kadian, it have to be a miracle for them to recover this bomb site. Yeah, I don't even think they're going to go for it. <laughs> why, why would you, to a certain degree? They might come in and check and see if they can get a quick kill and make it happen. No kid on either one of them, and Kerrigan's got Kadian's follow-up the ladder, and that should seal the round. That shot from Brokey, like, what are you supposed to do if you're that defender? That's so fast. I don't think there is anything to do. I really need to see Tessis get that last shot. I, did he just drop straight down and shoot him? I think, hope we can get that replay. Headshot onto Brokey as well, but yeah, there is no chance of even recovering this one. What a nice, uh, powerful punch at the start of the second half here. Phase. Yeah. Nothing, Back in a uh, huge lead. Nothing too crazy tactically. I don't even think that really had anything to do with the utility either. I think that was just a banger of a shot from Brokey. Sometimes that's all you need. I mean, especially in pistol rounds, right? You yeah. can get away with a lot. Like, oh, peace. <laughs> what are you? Like, there is no chance. And Yavi with the dualies is just trying to Check pick up out. the pieces and turn that corner. Ooh, that's cool. SWAT team. Nicely done. 
Four round lead. Are we gonna see the little bit of a pressure coming out from Heroic? Second round from us seems to be coming becoming more and more popular. Yeah, if you're gonna buy and you got the money for it. It's rock and roll, baby. Let's see what it can provide. So three players headed outside, two players for phase in the lobby at the moment. Rain is leading the way. There's the smoke wall put up, Molotov towards secret, so FaZe taking no chances in this round so far. It's at least like a generation and a half of viewers that have never seen the Max 7 on HUD. JW snacks shotgun play on this one. True. How, how did he miss that? Did, did he blink? Possibly. Yeah, his brain skipped a beat and that was it. We've all Ooh. been there. We've all been there. Kadian with a nice shot with the 5-7. Twist, got to be careful about that smoke. Yabby's lying in wait. I mean, we have to be seeing what Heroic's going to think about this round. If they want to go for it, if they want to just line up for some exits and take weapons away. Should be unwinnable, especially with this squeak door position up at the A-bomb site. It's such a quick wraparound, so don't think they're going to be able to win it. It's a great flashbang set up there. Twist running for his life. Roki trying to recover the situation. They're going to lose another one, but Twist has got his armor and his rifle back out and also his vision back, so at least he could uh, stand and fight. Hadian going to try and escape out here with a Mac 10 So it's an expensive round, but FaZe will win it. Yeah, they made a costly heroic, so admirable. And I think Hadian's hoping and praying that he can run in and find an AK-47 and Glil stand well away from the bomb blast. And he sees nothing. So Mac 10 and 5-7 for him in the next round. He does at least have armor, but another victory for FaZe. <laughs> yeah, he, he must have just blinked or was looking at someone else's screen. That's actually very funny. <laughs> I like that. They're normal humans. They're just like us. I mean, it's, especially when you're playing on land, right? Some, something else that happens all the time is people look at their teammates, teammates or, monitor, yeah. right? So if you're doing that to check where they are and that's exactly when it happens, I mean, it, it, but it looks funny. Great. Either way, Kerrigan is diving down the vent. Roki's picked up one of the kills and gonna get hunted down with a enemy Mac 10. So one for one trade, but really Roki shouldn't be doing more in this round than maybe getting some kills and doing a little bit of damage. They should be losing this one. Yeah, and Kerrigan's cutting off rotations down vent, so he's just telling his team to get into the bomb site, plant the bomb, just be cautious in case they're there. Rops is outside looking for fights which is interesting because he's alone with an AK-47. So if Heroic can find him, there's a nice weapon to bring forward into the next round. Taking their time phase, making sure they don't lose anything. Now that lurk outside turns into a flank towards ramp room. Rop's going to come back and reposition entirely. If they find Rops on the AK, that might even be like a better goal right now for, for the heroic I side. think that's what they're... Look at Kadian. Look at Kadian's position rotating in towards ramp room, and there's one player outside. Stown now searching for him. Rops is almost aware of the possibility, but that's the risk you run. Isolated in that position, AK-47 passed over to Stown. Yeah, huge win. Gotta be careful you don't give it back, though. Take down Kerrigan. That's just a MAC-10 loss. That's not really a big deal, but just don't lose any more AKs. That's gotta be the main thing. Ooh. What a dink. Twist. Almost dead. I think he... Yeah, he's like, I don't I don't want this AK. I don't want to give it away to an enemy. Yeah, he's going to go pick it up after the bomb blast, but he's basically saying, I, I, want, I need to get further away, but I also don't want to run into a CT that's flanking through warehouse. Yeah. So smart heads up play from Twist, and he'll recover the rifle. Genius. I like it. Yeah, because I guess if he runs back and dies at the stairs with it, then... It's the same thing. Yeah. He's giving over another one. It's just playing it safe. Six round lead for FaZe. They need four rounds to close out this map of Nuke. And Heroic's going to get their first real strong fighting chance to fight back. And the money for, for FaZe is just not that great at the moment. In the first half, they had some uh, some great rounds at the start that gave them a good economic basis. This is a, is a bit different. They've lost quite a few weapons in the last couple of rounds, so have to be careful. It's down out here, not seeing anyone up close. Instead, they're sneaking a little bit further away up towards the fence. Three of them going to make their way down. The other two hanging around in lobby. Classic setup if you want to crunch that B-bomb site. Hedian playing an off angle, hoping that there are no flashes coming. Rain walks right into it, but there is an immediate return. So 
probably still just fine for the T side. However, nobody's available for Heroic to rotate down to the lower bomb site. Lops, Rops lurking inside the smoke is going to hear these sound cues, and that's going to be like, okay, now it's my turn to make a play, but being very, very cautious as his teammates plant the bomb. Twist is going to aggress, so they're going to go pinch towards ramp room. They want to take out this player to open up the avenue for Rops to be involved in the action. What a smart play. Yeah, communication is on point right now for the phase side. Last grenade put out right there. Flash to try and see if they could slow anyone down to the door. There is a single smoke and a kit on Stown. So if they can get close enough, they can put so much pressure on the T side just by putting that smoke on top of the bomb, which, by the way, is really far ticked already. So they need to be fast with it. If they want this retake, they're going to have to do it right now. Time is running out as they get a couple of important kills. Brokey on his own, and they just run them down. Look at how close it is. Even after everything, they get those kills so fast and they are still... Oh, no! They're still going to lose the round. Oh, Less boy. than half a second. <laughs> That's fine. We're going to give it to FaZe there, but that was that was uh, an ugly 3v3. That I, I think maybe, maybe they got like lured into a false sense of security because of how deep the bomb timer was, but it feels like that should have been a much more powerful hold in the post plan of the 3v3. Oh, Still oh half a second away. Nice! <laughs> Next time, a little faster, please! Yep. <laughs> Maybe don't uh, tempt fate on that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he ain't wrong, though. That was very late in the day to get it started. Seven round lead now for FaZe. And that's, it was late in spite of the fact that they basically killed them all in like lightning speed. So they just needed to be, do start that whole process a little bit earlier. Twist goes down, 13 to six scoreline though. Tesses, gotta be careful, you can get picked off here. Actually, they are doubling up. They're only gonna swing for it, surely both at the same time. Robs will pick up, there's actually three people at the ramp right now for the heroic side. And they're crunching the lobby from the other side phase. They've gotta be so confused. How is everyone from the T CT side here? Broki gets one, but yeah, it's an unending fight. Rain, he could actually win this one. He could turn this into a one on two. Flash does nothing, but a headshot most certainly will. Shush to take him down. That was the solution. Aggressive round. That was the solution number Heroic had as well uh, against Big in the previous match they just played was all those lobby crunches, all the all the time controlling yeah. the map on the CT side, and this time FaZe get caught by it. Helps obviously that you get thinned out with this kill through the smoke. Twist goes down for free essentially. That's one less player you have to defend against. This one less set of eyes to watch all the different choke points. <laughs> I love that. So uh, <laughs> makes me happy. Six round gap still. Phase gonna put some pressure on even with the limited economy. AK for rain. Some pistols upgraded. Could be enough. We've seen that before. Oh. Arrogant opening oh. it up with a run down. He almost got caught, but he's gonna try and escape back up and it's nowhere safe. Stuck between a rock and a hard place. No, but he's caused so much chaos. He's caused so much chaos. That means Tessa's falls. And there's Yabby. Rain's got an AK-47. Peekaboo, bet you didn't expect that one. And now we have a four on two out of nowhere. Classic nuke problem again. You just a little bit of a disjointed defense and suddenly you've no idea where anything is. Well, also like what a what an important player to pick off as your first kill if you're Kerrigan is that player kind of rotating between the upper and lower bomb site through vents. You pick that guy off and he's kind of a focal point of how it allows Heroic to rotate around the map. And they're just not even going to get close to retaking this. They're just already backing on out. They don't really have a lot of money either. So there's a surprise for you. Vent diving. Art form, really. Not everyone's mentally built for it. No. I like to send other people down the vent. Yeah, you're definitely not. You're definitely not the guy to go into vents. No, you guys do it. Yeah. Well, Kara or Kadian quieted down. Exist wants a timeout. We'll talk things over. Oh, the tiny number just pushing through a smoke. What a jerk. Ooh. No head armor on that one. Yep. And this is Rain catching him off guard with the AK-47. Oh, a jump up. That's a, that's a brutal way for three players to go down in the same round. Especially a round where you're up against mostly pistols. We're, we're kind of coming up against an interesting position here where it's possible that 
FaZe could end up walking away with a really strong, I don't know, like 16 to 7 type victory. And it'll look like on the scoreboard, like, wow, they got blown up. But actually, it feels like Heroic have been fairly competitive here. Some, some critical rounds being won from FaZe. Yeah, that, that's that's probably fair, especially with how close the first half was. I think that's the real issue is so far in the second half, they've only won, won the single round. It's, it's the CT side that's letting them down at yeah. the moment. And I mean, part of that too is, again, on Nuke so often, you, you kind of fall into a trap of talking about money so much, but it is so critical and Heroic still haven't been able to get that economy beneath them in any kind of meaningful, consistent way. Ooh, a couple of tricks being pulled here. Trying to go for the early wall bang, not really finding that one. And outside... They don't want to stick around and fight KD, and he is all the way out here, and I think they have a good read of it. I think they know that, that something is happening, which for Dick, KD also means it's very dangerous to stick around. If they get control of, of Twinkie and they start to hang around up there, throw nades down on top of you, yeah, that's what he's worried about. He's in a very, very sketchy position at the moment. KD was just scratching his head with his mouse hand during a live round. Don't even... Don't even think about it. I've never seen anything like it. What if he gets a kill while he's scratching his head? He's still got his finger there for the uh, for the trigger, you know? Just more power to him, I guess. I'd love to see that all oh, flashed in. Looks like that could have worked out, but gonna try and buy a little bit of space. That is even also very dangerous, but he's still living. Shush on top of the hut. The Molotov is not touching him, so when they come running out, he is ready for it. Sometimes those Molotovs just don't spread nearly far enough, and as a result, there's still a CT player up there. Kerrigan trying to repeat the success of the vent dive last time. It didn't work out this one. Yeah. You only get that once. It's down outside. Rain to contend with. Brokey and Rops. Shifting way, way back towards T-Spawn. They're just going to try and save this one out with 20 seconds on the clock. Everyone backs away. Nothing worked. FaZe didn't get anything they wanted. And if you're heroic, I think... They are kind of pushing into lobby right now, but I almost want to say, like, stop. Just win this round clean. Keep all five players alive. Yeah. Because remember, previously they had that lobby crunch that was so successful, it was like a four on two, and I think they lost two players right at the end, so they only got to bring two players alive into the next round, and that really, really hurt the money. That's a pretty good wall bang right there, but yeah, they decide not to not to try and hunt anything out. Just, uh, just keep it cool like that. Yeah, this is a... Unfortunate, but the Molotov not spraying. You can see Twist is... I mean, that's kind of what he's supposed to do, right? He has to trust in the Molotov. Otherwise, there's no point in throwing it to begin with. So. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, you kind of you do pinpoint. I think there's there's a couple different Molotovs you can throw on top of the hut. And yeah. one of them creates that gap that we just saw. There we go. 14 to 8. That is a nice round for Heroic, that last one. They can keep picking that up. We might have a real fight on our hands once again. Carrigan, not event diving, but all the way out here to catch down. What an absolute playmaker. That's a huge opening. Yeah, and think of the rounds that he's think of the plays that he's made to get a couple of rounds on the board for a phase. The vent dive with the tech nine. Now this one outside to get them an opening kill. Let's see if it nets him a victory. But Carrigan's being very aggressive on the map. Oh, Shush though, making a play of his own and catching Rops. Very chaotic what we're seeing here at the later stages of the second half. Tessis is down below. And he has some backup over at the ramp room, but it's got to be a little bit quick here. Brokey opening up the door, and that's going to let them know. Tessis with a huge double and twist. Surely nothing he could do here. One versus four. He's picked up the one kill, but they're everywhere. Almost walks into the knee. That would have been a horrible way to go. Katie in there with a the pistol in hand. Good communication and a great round for Heroic. Yep, back into it. This time they only lose, what, two players? So still that money builds up for the CT side. And now this is this is the last opportunity for Heroic to make a run to close the gap and stay in this game. Five rounds back, but the CT side finally, really late in the day, starting to heat up, starting to feel like they can get proactive, starting to feel like they can dig into the playbook on this defensive side because of the money they're now that's now available to them. Twist coming up with 17 rops at 18. So they got a couple of players way up there. And everyone else, by the way, on phase at 14. Nice <laughs> headshot from Rain. Oh, dear. Okay. Here we go again. Buckle in. Brokey looking like he wants to make the run. There's an op and an AK outside trained on these positions. Yeah, so not a fight you should be winning with a Deagle really ever. But we've seen it before. That Twinkie position. 
that kill comes out so early in the round that FaZe slow playing this is, is really powerful. You can see Kadian and, and Shush starting to move a little bit and communicate and probably feeling uncomfortable that they're not seeing anything else. Back towards ramp room we go. We saw Rops handle this position very well in the first half in a similar round. Yeah, the spray was so accurate for him and Tess is doing a fine job as well. With no utility, plenty of time to reload. Jiggling out a little bit of a bait shot there to trap Carrigan and backup is coming for him as well. So in a good position either way. Carrigan gonna get the party headshot. But with 40 seconds, any dream of winning the round here for Brokey probably not gonna be possible. Deagle in hand and in a one versus three. Is the door open? That's the question. Sound is gonna give it away. Doesn't really have a whole lot of other options. And as he's clearing to the right, Yabby comes out late on top of Hut. Another round for Heroic. 14 to 10 now. Here's that opening kill from Rain. Please go. in there. Yeah. Not much you can say. Someone must have tried to set the world record. Making a larger monkey. It sounds like, sounds like a Texas kind of thing. <laughs> it does sound like a Texas kind of thing. Just an American kind of thing, really. <laughs> 25th round. Shush, waiting for it. Flash set up. Don't want to commit to it. He did actually try to get back, but caught by Roki. Good awareness from FaZe. Yeah, you could see they're all lined up as well, looking for that aggression. Heroic's found a decent amount of success in this game and a lot of success in the previous game on Nuke. Pressing into lobby. This time it's shut down. I appreciate Shush trying to fall back. I feel like sometimes when we see people getting flashed into positions, they... They sort of, they don't get the immediate kill they want and they try to extend their window for getting more, for getting a kill anyway. And that always backfires, I feel like. So he didn't really try to escape. They were just so ready for it. That's a deep, aggressive peek from Kadian. Yes, it is. Tess has gone down, but 3-1 for Stownout here. Carrigan not at all aware. So back into a three on three with a massive health advantage for Heroic. Better be careful here. Twist going down. Still got Rops left alive. Always scary when that's the case. Roki going to be found as well. So three on three into a one versus three. Robs obviously with the skill to do that, but failed the jump, which makes his job just a little bit more complicated. Has to go and challenge the AWB again. <laughs> I mean, if he was looking, he could have been dead right there. Sound has no idea. No, he doesn't. Oh, no. This could turn into a one on one right quick. They really don't know. He's gone to check now. So maybe now he's realized and put it together. Okay. Summing is up. There's not that many positions he could have been in, so I think they realize now. Oh, ooh, still finding the headshot on Stout. That's ridiculous. And now it's a one-on-one. -on -one. What a sexy 1v1 he's gotten himself into. He hasn't taken a point of damage at all. Katie had win a lot of trouble. No kit right now, no smoke, and an AWP. He has to eventually go and tap the bomb and try to get Robs to peek him, but he's in so much trouble. Robs has played this perfectly. He's absolutely mind game. Kadian has got no idea. And now he has to run. Robs gets the spray down. And that is an amazing clutch. That is everything that is emblematic of this man's play. That is so disgusting. What a 1v3. That jump throws him for a loop. They never knew he got into control side. You can see Kadian kind of considered. I think Stown might have realized a little bit too late, but I think his in his mind, he's like, Rob's got the bomb and went back up ramp room, and I have to go investigate, like, how far away he is exactly. Which he could have, right? He had yeah. the time for it. Ooh, that is a hard round to lose. 15 to 10. They almost had it. One versus three instead. And that's at a point where that comeback is really starting to ramp up as well. It's not quite there yet, but you could feel it building, and Rops just stops it stone cold. Five chances, FaZe, to close this map. And if that doesn't get you fired up with the FaZe side, nothing will. That's a huge victory. Rain, a little bit of smoke cover. Tesses to go down early. Rofi able to secure the kill on him, and that's over at the secret stairs. Rain just continuing that secret mission. He's very, very quiet about it. Walking around out here, and obviously you could tell every few steps making a new call to his team saying, well, I'm a little bit further. I haven't seen anyone. This seems like a, a knockout position for Rain to be in. Well, another lobby crunch. Another... Kill found from it. They have control of the map. Brokey's not able to connect the shot, but Kerrigan's wrapped all the way around. They've lost the A bomb site in the meantime. FaZe is like, yeah, take lobby. We'll let you have it. We'll take the bomb site. Even trade for us. 
Yeah, they've switched position. Yeah, and it's a four on three now. <laughs> Bomb's about to be planted. There's nothing Heroic can do to stop it. They're spread all across the map. They've still got Stown down in lower. He's out at secret. His only real chance is to come rotate up vents. Everyone is split in a different position, and Heroic has to go for it. They basically swapped into all the CT positions and just put the bomb down. That's so crazy. Kerrigan, oh sorry, Kadian trying to fight for his life here. Taking down Brokey, back into a three on three. But they need every round heroic. They can't screw anything up at this point. And just with the AWP, swings wide, but Twist is there. This time in hut to take him down. And Stan and Shush, they're in a lot of trouble right now. Some quick kills coming through in their favor, but it's a one-on-one -on -one versus Twist. And he's trying to just jiggle him out of it. Goes for it against Stan and there's the head.